This is Jonathan Fichter, and I'm going to show you how to get your spreadsheet to remind you of things automatically. Let's say you have a to-do list like this, or maybe a grade book, and you'd like certain cells on the spreadsheet or grade book to turn red after a certain date. I'm going to show you the fast and easy way to do it, the visually nice way to do it, and the behind the scenes way. For fast and easy, you're going to want to go to this exact document and copy some formatting that I made. This is a publicly shared Google spreadsheet, so you can get there by going to tinyurl.com slash spreadsheet remind demo. You head over to a sheet called copy a one and you're going to want to copy the text and formatting of this cell by pressing control C. Then head over to your own document where you have a to-do list or a grade book. Press Control-V to paste it in, and it's all set, but you just have to change the date. So right-click, scroll down to Conditional Formatting, and change it. Maybe you want it to turn red after February 9th. Save rules. There you go. Now, to make it really visually to make it visually nice looking, I should say. Maybe you don't want to have any visible text in that square. You like it to look clear. You need to keep the text in there to have it work, but you can go up here to text color and make it clear. Or, as an alternative, maybe you want the square to be yellow. Whoops, background color of yellow. And maybe you want the text color to be yellow also. To me, that says, hey, keep your eye on this square because in a couple of days it might turn red and then you really need to act on this item. All right, now here's the behind the scenes, behind the scenes way to do it. Let's go over to my grade book and let's say we want this square to turn red after a certain date. All right, well the first step is let's do that conditional formatting. We right click on it, we scroll down to conditional formatting, and we, we say, look, date is after, exact date, you have to specify that, and then put in a date. I like for starters to put in a date from the past just to make sure it works. At the time that I'm making this video, February 1st is in the past. Then we select, I want the background to change, and you can Choose what color. I want the background to turn red. And you save your rule. Now, you'll notice it's not red yet, so I know not everything's working. You have to put into this spreadsheet the date. And the way to do that, there's a function in Excel, oh, sorry, in Google Spreadsheets called now. So you type in equals now, open parentheses, close parentheses, enter. And now, I'll make this a little bigger so you can see what's going on. You can see right up to the second, but it's not up, it'll update every minute or so, I believe, right up to more or less the second, um, the date, and it's, it's being updated automatically. So when that date surpasses the date that you told it, the square will turn red. Okay, now let's go back in there and we'll adjust the date to what you want. Right click, conditional formatting and we'll change it over February 9th. Save rules. Okay, so that's what's going on behind the scenes. You're using the now function and some conditional formatting to make this magic work. I hope this helps and let me know if you use it in a neat way.